This program is brought to you by Emory University. For me, what is significant is the debate itself. Uh, because the point is outcomes can change over time. We could have an outcome in favor or against the mosque. For me, it is not as important as the fact that we do have a public debate. Muslims are more than uh, about a quarter of the world population. 1.8 million billion people are Muslim. I don't, one in every four is a Muslim. And also, uh, Muslims are a majority in more than 40 countries. Now, the vast majority of Muslims and the vast majority of their countries never feature in our news, and we never know what's going on, which is good news, because it means that there is no bad news to report. Uh, but that is, that, that is often missed. And I think another dimension is that Muslims, uh, if you see situations every day in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, there are Muslims who are by far victims of this uh, terrorist violence every day and again uh, how to understand that the problem is a global human problem not an american problem and to see that arbitrary violence and terrorism is an enemy of every people and of every cause i, I don't think that negative attitudes to the u.s have ever been a mainstream muslim attitude and I think the vast majority of Muslims do, in fact, admire, respect, and really think very highly of the United States. And they have good reason to do so. You would imagine that when, when crisis happened, I remember in Western Sudan, when there was a famine during the administration of President Reagan, and the uplift of American aid came to the people, and they called, I mean, they named it Reagan's Aish, meaning Reagan's cereal. Uh, and that stays, I mean, so, People have strong memories of American presence with compassion and with commitment. After the initial shock and after the reaction, I think a quite human reaction of hitting back or st striking out to try to retaliate, after that initial very human impulse, we have, I think, a more institutional, more diplomatic, peaceful, uh, collaborative effort. And I think that's the way to go, because no power, no matter how great its resources, can afford to go it alone. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.